And then there were two. One prone to drama, the other to deflect. Both filled with love, yet slowly oozing regret. The threat of the ending looms larger as they clasp words around each other, building bars out of exclamation marks in order to met out hurtful sentences. They bark accusations and bare teeth of righteousness as they seethe about what they perceive to be the ultimate wrongdoing when really, they're just fending off that tsunami of wasted emotions, you see. No one wants to be left alone in an ocean of surplus devotion. So they take turns watching each other flounder, as long as it protects them from ingesting gutfuls of salt water in the form of tears shed. Upon an unmade bed so rumpled, it is hard for them to rest their weary heads. To recover from previously wandering eyes, pondering on moments untold yet not unnoticed. They begin to smother one another with that quilt of guilt and somewhere within the grim din of their clanking hearts, they realize the reserves they are banking on are running dangerously low on returns. Once that seed of doubt has been planted, great big branches of uncertainty stretch their limbs over harbors of suspicion. No longer are questions asked, instead accusations are made. These lovers gnaw at each other until they reach the bone. Both know the eventuality of the path they walk, yet inertia propels them forwards towards destination frustration. They oscillate between treading on eggshells and all out emotional wars. Doors are slammed upon which potential attacks bounce off, but not before they've left some indelible mark, you see. Like that of Cain, their pain stains them, but more than that, their pain maims them so that their violent strides become mere limps. They stop moving forwards and seem to shift backwards in a kind of slow motion, like while drowning in their unrelenting desires whilst simultaneously being fueled by the wrong kind of fires. Neither of them knows how long they can sustain it, yet both know they will remain in it until the last verbal punch is laid firmly between the eyes of confrontation, until they're both winded from over-analytical conversations, hate-filled debates and coarse curses, until their embraces become less placatory and more exploratory, their kisses impassioned again, their desires reminding them that they are that cheesy cliche of two hearts that beat as one, and suddenly the raft which dragged them out into a sea of rough emotions is now a smooth sailing yacht upon calm waters. Hindsight makes an example of them. Experiences help to build the foundations. They love each other enough to know that though one is prone to drama and the other to deflect, it's what keeps them strong. It's what keeps them in check. And then there were two. <laughs>